Hello and welcome to episode 7 of our Timberborn Update 5 hard mode playthrough with Folktales Faction here in cycle 15, day 8. We're at the beginning of a Bad Tide cycle. Last time, we prepared for the Bad Tide cycle by blasting out a little bit of uh, area down here for our large water pumps to, well, pump out of. Now we got some diversion going and we've expanded our industrial area. We've got a lot of good stuff done already in just the first six episodes of this series, and we're going to continue doing that today. We've got plenty to accomplish, lots of good notes from you guys in the comments on the last video, so thanks for that. Now, first things first, uh, let's pause and take a quick assessment of where we are. I want to start with our bad water scenario. Uh, obviously, in a drought, this would be completely dried up and we wouldn't be able to pump anything, but it's a bad tide, so these are going to keep going. So we fortunately don't have to worry about this quite yet, but eventually we do want to go ahead and put in some dams. I'm not going to actually put these in, but we're going to dam this off right here. And then for right now, probably just across here as well. So we can keep the bad water in place in the event of just a regular drought until we have the ability to come in here and build bad water rigs uh, way far into the future because those are going to take a lot of resources we don't have quite yet. But somebody did raise a concern that we're not going to be able to keep up with our bad water supply with just this one pump. Although currently during this bad tide, we do have this second one operating here to uh, fuel our centrifuge and our explosives factory. So we're okay for right now. But long term, when we need a stable supply of the bad water, we are going to have to expand this area over here. So we will likely put in a second bad water pump at some point. And then, of course, when we have the bad water rig in place, it's going to make a ton more, uh, obviously, 40 per hour versus uh, this thing is, uh, I guess, three per hour. So, yeah, we, we want to get here, but it's going to take us a while to get that much in terms of resources and science. So that's going to be kind of on the back burner for now, but we do want to make sure that we remember that. And also, again, we don't need to jam this up yet, but we are going to do that at some point. Don't let me forget. Other things people mentioned were connecting possibly uh, this area to everything over here. We already kind of have most of a path set up. We would just have to connect this and then bring this all the way across and either connect to back here or what have you. We've got a couple different options, but we want to make sure we're keeping everything connected uh, nice and efficiently so we can move about the colony, make sure everything is good to go. So we might do that today. Uh, power wise, Obviously, a bad tide. We're making plenty of power with our power wheels. We're currently making almost 1,300 uh, total, and we're not even using close to half that. So we've got plenty of room to expand our industry here and all sorts of other fun stuff. Uh, outside of that, uh, a couple comments about keeping the trees alive with these little holes here like we've done. Uh, eventually, remember, I'm going to have this entire thing dynamited all the way down, so that's not going to be an issue. Uh, this will all be at the same depth, and then down here will be blasted down even more because this is what we're uh, we're pulling our drinking water out of. But once we get everything blasted down to the same depth, I'm going to take a couple of these holes all the way down as far as they'll go, just in case we pump everything out, the trees aren't all going to die. And then we also have space up here to put in a couple more of these fluid dumps, grow some more trees and everything. But honestly, for right now, we're doing just fine. We have a couple of... Uh, well, I guess just this one lumberjack flag we could activate to cut these trees a little bit faster. And then over here, yeah, this guy right here, hey, Guns and Bourbon, um, nothing going on because these trees are all the ones we're not going to be cutting down. So we just want to make sure that we have that unmarked. Uh, this is a chestnut tree. It's not, uh, not an oak tree or anything we're going to actually be cutting down. So that's okay. I just want to make sure real quick that we aren't in a bad spot here and then yeah we can go ahead and I agree uh, go ahead and get this guy out of here go do literally anything else I guess I could have this running there's no need to keep this pause that was just for the purpose of not getting caught up behind anything but we're okay for right now we are growing maple trees to start getting the syrup and we're growing pine trees to start getting the resin over here once that's a thing we're going to get rid of these trees and expand our farming and other fun stuff in this way and the reason that this forester is here is because this guy, of course, can't reach all the way. Once the pine trees are planted and everything's growing nicely, then we will take this out, put the medium tank back where it was, and then right here, instead of being a path, this will be a, a small storage for our pine resin. So that's all looking good. And now we can turn our attention to the industrial area. 
had a comment that said, hey, why did you not uh, make these into levees so you could channel all of the bad water into the same spot? And that is a very, very good question that I don't really know the answer to. I think it was honestly just kind of a brain fart. So uh, what I'm going to do, we have plenty of planks. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead, tear these out, and then I'm going to come in and I'm going to make all of these. This one is a levee. I can't remember. Was the thing underneath this a levee or a platform? Um, I guess this is this is fine. It's not going to hurt water flow. But uh, we want to concentrate all of this through here. And then maybe eventually even do some gasp water folding. I know that's a four letter word around here for, for some of you guys. But I, I honestly don't understand why some people hate it so much. It's just fun. When it works, it works. When it doesn't work, it's frustrating. I understand. But I, I think we can have a good time with it just the same and we'll be a okay now in terms of getting everything else situated the way we want to we definitely 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 have to have more explosives so we're going to take advantage of all of our fun stuff here and i, I know i don't have the uh the levees here but that's okay because we only need it to make uh, power right here we have to have room for it to uh, get out so that's fine i'm gonna go ahead and ex just extend this all the way this way, connect this path, and then, okay, no, that was here. Put another explosives factory right here, make a little sandwich, because we, we need to be making more explosives. We have plenty of bad water. We have a source right here, well, a temporary source while this is all nasty stuff, and a permanent one over here. It's uh, It's all working as far as I can tell. Just want to make sure that these are set to obtain. That's extract. And that one is. And that one is. So we should be okay. Our number of beavers is, I guess, okay for now. We probably do want it to increase. So we are going to be building some additional housing. Just have to figure out exactly where that's going to go. I already have one here. That's uh, kind of okay. I'd be tempted to... Uh, to uh, put a couple more over here. But I want to see if the bad water actually kills these trees. Because this is a dead oak seedling from a long time ago. If they're going to be able to actually grow here, then we're good. If not, we might have to uh, might have to move some stuff over here. Or maybe see what we can get up to. So far, these look good, though. Uh, I think we're going to have to wait and find out tomorrow in-game uh, to see if they're going to plant those two. But that's looking nice. Uh, once those last two are planted, I will, of course, get rid of this, turn this back into a tank, and then we'll be good to go. But for right now, they'll take care of all of that stuff. Come back over here. Uh, I don't currently have any extra beavers, so that's why this hasn't been unpaused. Everything else is looking just fine. And believe it or not, we still just have the one farmhouse. So that's why we haven't really been keeping up so much with some of this other stuff. Uh, we need to put another one in. This is not an ideal location for a farmhouse. We uh, probably should have another one up here. But again, these trees are kind of in the way. And we don't really need to save all of them because what we do, we have 250 pine resin. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to start cutting these trees. We'll, we'll go up to here and I'll just de-checkerboard. Nope, that's the wrong level. I'll de-checkerboard all this, unpause this guy, and we'll let him get to work getting rid of these trees because honestly uh, we, we could probably cut all these right now and be fine but something about a uh, resource scarcity terrifies me in hard mode <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna do our best not to get too uh, too crazy about that now uh, we also we need to find a way to get across here I mean, not like, not like we need to find a way obviously we know how to do it but we just need to uh, be able to go ahead and take care of the rest of this. Uh, this this is fine. I'm not worried about this overtopping, honestly. Uh, if it's not overtopping during a bad tide, it's probably never going to. What? You never know. Does this actually connect to anything? Oh, this is completely separate. All right, no. There's there's no challenge in that. We're, we are A-OK. -okay, we're good. So I don't know what I was so worried about when this was uh, coming through here. But, uh... Fine, I guess. Oh, look. These two planted. Good. So, that's done. The on Greyjoy. Go back to the Iron Islands. 
Okay, so this is going to be storage for maple syrup. Set that to supply. Not that there's anywhere for it to go. Small warehouse right here. Set that back to the pine resin. And then we can actually plant a couple more trees here. Fortunately, this is in the range of this forester. And these are going to be chestnuts because, well, we're uh, probably still going to need way more chestnuts than we already have. But this is a good start. Nonetheless. All right, everything else is looking good. We are pumping. Looking nice. Cutting these trees down. So that's good progress there. I guess now I have extra beavers. I can go ahead and unpause this lumberjack flag. Get Chris in on the action here. These trees are all marked for cutting. Don't worry. That is not a problem. So we'll get these guys going, get these trees replanted. And then, of course, a little bit further on, once we have the ability to uh, cover a little bit more space up here, I am going to put in another water dump. And uh, well, I guess I could do that now. We don't want to get too distracted. We have to remember what we're trying to accomplish here. And that's to get more explosives before we start blowing anything else up. Because it's very important. Actually, I could just go ahead and have this go off now. It's very important for us to be able to store as much water as we possibly can over here. And over here, too. Honestly, I should probably be doing this first. Rather than anything else. Did I take away the path here? No, I did not. Okay, cool. So that's looking good, these trees. Oh, some of these are actually almost grown, but they're going to take another 12 days to get the syrup. So that's, uh, I guess, to be expected. These are a little bit older. Yeah, we're looking, looking pretty good here. So I think all of these, if we check our priorities, yeah. This entire thing is pretty much uh, in front of all of this stuff. This is lower priority, lower priority, lowest priority. So everything else that we're working on is in front of that. Yeah, look, Explosives Factory is good to go. Very, very nice. We'll get those rocking and rolling here. Uh, gears. That's the Explosives one. Okay. Very cool. Extra beavers we have. So let's maximize our hauling post. These guys will be nice and busy. No problems there. We'll take care of these pine trees. And then I think... Yeah, I think we're going to put another farmhouse right up here. I kind of wish I could, uh, oh no, I actually can. Yeah, if this is, well, this, this is paused because that's how I have it set. But if I were to remove this, we could just let this dry out and then I could blast this level and that would uh, save us a spot here. Strictly speaking, isn't completely necessary, or at all necessary. Especially with the water stored here. So maybe... Maybe we don't need this guy at all. Well, I'm going to get rid of it anyway. Because I want to be... Uh, detonating some of this stuff. So we can have access to uh, everything else we got going on here. But water here is definitely going to irrigate all the way through here. And this should come out to... About right here-ish, maybe? So there could actually still be a need for this, but at the very least, we could get rid of this one levy. We'll just wait for that to uh, get out, and that'll be okay. So what else? what else is being constructed? We already had this. That's fine. Nothing up here yet, because we're still working on everything else. But, but we have the explosives coming out at twice the speed now, so that should not be an issue. Extract is currently paused. Because I think I was trying to avoid using logs, but we'll go ahead and turn this back on. Uh, we do need to have that so we can, of course, make the double and triple dynamite, which we haven't researched uh, triples yet. But we're going to want to have access to all of that. That's okay. And then, uh, we, since we're folktales, we have the contamination barrier, which we could easily, easily just use as a last-minute defense along this entire area, but I don't think we need to worry about it. I might put a couple here just because this is so close. But again, that is uh, something we don't really need to worry about at this exact moment. I don't think that's a problem. Uh, this is ready to go here. Now, if I'm careful about how this drains, I shouldn't flood my crops, but I'm also kind of afraid to, uh, afraid to chance it. So I, I think, again, we're just going to leave this alone for the time being. 
That's fine. We're not hurting on food. We're just not currently uh, in possession of too many potatoes. So seeing the amount of carrots we have, I'm going to go ahead and prioritize the potatoes here in the farmhouse. Get them to uh, take care of stuff. And we'll see what happens there. Uh, this, I guess... Maybe we should think about putting a bridge across uh, for the sake of having stuff connect appropriately. I guess it should go should go up here. Okay, and we, we just sucked all of our water out. So this is why it's important to have a lot of storage, because we're still halfway through the drought. And there's all of this that's already been sucked out. So I'm going to pause, pause this large water pump. I'm going to unpause when uh, temperate starts. Just make sure that's always checked just as an insurance policy. But we should be should be fine. None of these trees are currently dying as a result of any of this because we have this little thing right here. But it's not going to last forever, which is why we want to make sure that we're getting this in the process of being blasted down. We just got a lot a lot more blasting to do over here and again this is the more important part, so that's okay. And I, I think I mentioned earlier we're going to blast around this a little bit more, just so this has a little bit more to pump from. Uh, again, not super high on my priority list. We do have 400-something bad water, so I'd say okay. The only time this isn't going to be pumpable is during a drought. And, uh, well, we're probably going to have a drought next cycle anyway, unless we get super bad RNG. But, like I said, we've got some stores. We're, we're looking okay. Can't really have any uh, complaints about how this is panning out presently. Looks good. We've got plenty of antidote. And everything is looking just fine. No complaints here. So I guess what we could focus on now is actually... Oh, I, I could have I could have made bridges out of all this. But we'll get all of this connected here. So it's a little bit roundabout of uh, getting through here. But it is all connected. Uh, this... Now, I guess I'll just go ahead and have this come around the back for no other reason than I can. And we're going to want to have good access to stuff anyway. So that like so, again, it's kind of out of the way, but having having good access is nice. And we can have other things that are useful back here as well. I do think we're going to want to get into planting some more trees. So uh, seeing how this is set up, Actually, I kind of want to do a, uh, I want to do a levy or two, like uh, this thing. Do I even need to worry about what direction this is facing? Honestly, probably not. But I will align it with the path, like an insane person. But that's fine. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll stick this in here like so. I don't think we really need to be that, uh, that concerned about it. That's going to irrigate nicely a lot of this area. Not all of it, mind you. I, I know that's not. Not going to work perfectly, but it will work well enough for what we're doing. And I can put in uh, this little staircase here, connect nicely again. Good connections are important. And I'll just connect this as well. Again, there's not really any huge reason to do it. I just felt like that would be a smart thing to do. Might be smart, might be not smart, but it's fine. We will be A-OK. -okay. We can blast this down to get us a couple more trees along the edge right here. And we want to make sure we're leaving room for at least uh, one more of these lumberjacks on this side. Oh, that actually did really well. Cool. I guess I chose correctly. It's always validating. And we can make good use of this ungrowable space by putting this guy right up here. That is going to work quite nicely. And the reach of this forester is only to right about here, but that's not a big deal. We can always put another one in. No problems detected. That's fine there. Let's slight these off. Then that will go like so. How far out can we go? Okay. I think I've got, yep, one more right here. I can't go all the way back, right? Okay, there we go. So then this same thing here, this one tree on the end, it's not going to be able to be planted. But that's going to be a pretty big upgrade in terms of the amount of trees we have growing. Uh, we'll, of course, let them do what they need to do with that. So that's all looking quite nice. We still have probably another 
10 and 15 days of water in this. So we'll come back and check on that when the time comes. Yeah, everything is looking nice with the exception of uh, our potatoes could be substantially higher. Oh, no, did we harvest all of them? Okay, all right. Well, consider me thoroughly corrected. This is quite nice over here. Half grown, a little bit more than half. Okay, we'll leave those alone. These trees are looking good. We still have plenty of water here. That's fine. These trees, again, are not going to have any syrup for the next you know, at least 11 days, 10 days, whatever the math works out to. So, what else are we looking at over here? I did replace, did replace these with levees, so that's looking good. I guess I could rebuild these. Uh, yeah, I could rebuild these lumber mills. I'll do... I guess three and then two more gear workshops, I think is what we had. Although we might want a paper mill. Paper mill would be a good thing to put on the very edge, I think, because of how the uh, the doorway goes in. So let's do that. We have plenty of science. So we'll just put that guy there, uh, get paper going. Uh, I'm not going to, since this is going to be flooded, I'm not going to worry about dynamiting this down because this isn't about storage. This is just about having water near the trees. So we'll go ahead and we'll just put in a couple more of these uh, medium warehouses here and here. This is pine resin. This is gears. Uh, this probably honestly should also be, what is this? Oh, punch cards. Oh, that's a new thing. That's for the folktail spots. I always forget, I forget about this stuff. Uh, but paper, hold on. Paper will go here. That'll work quite nicely. Uh, since the dynamite now is bad water, the paper is pretty much only good for the large windmill and then later on in the game when we get to the printing press. But still going to be nice to have it. And we are going to want to get into some uh, larger windmills at some point as well because these generate 300 HP. Theoretically, I've seen them make a little bit more. But being prepared is never a mistake. So that's looking good. This is... Uh, this is fine, I guess. I need to figure out where I'm going to put the next uh, the next water dump, I guess, based off of the distance between these two. This one's probably going to need to be about right here. I wish it would show me if I were uh, moving this around. In the Water Beaver playthrough, uh, the irrigation tower actually shows you a range, which is really nice. So it'd be cool if that was a vanilla feature, but uh, we're not gonna I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I think oh I, I don't want to get this wrong though. I think I can get away with putting this one here. I think that'll be fine. Should be a decent enough distance. So we'll uh, forget about that for a little second here. Uh, we haven't been pumping water. We're down to six hundred something, but bad tide's over. So no problems detected. We'll get this started pumping again. And look at that, we have thirteen. 13 vacancies, three incapacitated beavers, uh, but they're just injured. They're not, uh, they're not sick with a bad tide disease or anything. So now we have to decide where we're going to put our next lodges here. And I think it might be a smart idea to have like a secondary nexus of uh, beaver housing, at least for right now, kind of in this area in between things so that the, uh, the beavers working here don't have to walk so far out of everything. So if we come in with our double lodges like this, that's going to be six and six. And we can actually use this as an excuse to connect this whole thing down here. Yeah, we'll just have this line up like so. Leave some space on both sides for no real reason. But that's going to give us enough space right here to put in a medium tank. Actually, that, that's going to fit really nice right there. Set that for water storage. Then we can have some food storage as well. Right here across the way, we'll put in... I think the best food is right now probably going to be the grilled potatoes. And we're going to have some other space for stuff as we keep on moving. So that's going to be nice to see. Oh, this was never detonated. Well, now it is. And now this one is as well. Let's see how good my uh, my guessing is. I want to say this is probably probably going to irrigate the vast majority of this space and make it farmable for trees. Which, uh, admittedly, there's not 
that many more trees we can actually plant right now. So why have the... Oh, there's nobody working here because <laughs> it was deprioritized. Okay, well, that's also why I uh, needed to have some additional additional beds here. That's looking pretty good. No complaints there. Now, how are we looking on our uh, detonation right here? Mm, I love that sound. Beautiful. Okay, so that's try. Let's lower that, get that water back in. Good, good. We'll leave this open. The bad tide starts, it'll automatically... Uh... Yeah, bad tide ends. I, we really don't need to worry about this because this is already automated, so I guess I will... Uh... I guess I'll just have this all set, ready to go. Just to automatically open all the time. Cool. All right, and the amount of water that we have in here is still about half. I don't want to flood these potatoes. I know that'll pretty much kill them instantly. Right, I think I can go ahead and uh, take off the priority resource there. That's probably okay. Yeah, looking pretty good, pretty good. Uh, this is still waiting on... Okay, well, now it's done. Oh, you know what I didn't do is I didn't put this in the rotation. And I didn't put this one in the rotation either. So why don't we start a new rotation? I think this one was, uh, which one's the first one? Is that, is that this guy? No. Oh, is the one I already deleted, I think. Okay. So I'll tell you what we'll do. I resume start time is going to be one. Pause start time is going to be four. And there's our drought warning. Okay. So that should take care of that. That one's, wait, hold on. Was it every two hours or was it every three hours? Because I thought it was, um, maybe it was every two, because this is one, two, three, and four, five, six. It was every two hours. Okay, so this one, this one was start at three. This one should be start at one, end at three, not end at four. Okay, so that works. That is fine. This one is 15, 18. And I guess this one is just going to be a, Well, I guess we could, um, wait, hold on. This was 15 and 18. What am I doing wrong here? I didn't do the offset. Okay. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. We don't need to stress out. It's not something that's worth getting upset over. We'll just figure it out. It was a cool idea, but we don't need to let it control our lives. All right. Uh, explosives looking good. Everything is looking pretty nice. Pretty nice. We should have maple syrup pretty shortly. Uh, we haven't gotten into bakeries yet. We haven't gotten into grist mills. We haven't even started uh, growing wheat, for that matter. That's going to be... Maybe that's what we can grow over here. So I think our potato situation is actually looking pretty good. That I know I need to leave in place for another uh, large water pump. But I think I can plant the rest of this as potatoes and be okay. Yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just do that. This tapper shack uh, can already go away. That's fine. Because these are growing. And actually, yeah, these are already producing. We're about to be. So let's uh, say goodbye to the rest of these pine trees here. We'll get this all taken out. And I think, I think this is about, probably about time for us to let this off. And I don't think it's really going to hurt that much shouldn't kill any potatoes anyway so oh that's it all right <laughs> crisis averted crisis averted so that is gonna go here actually you know what no it's not gonna go there it's gonna go here we have the ability to make good choices today oh that's gonna block in so much space <sighs> Oh, man. Now I, now I gotta... Mm. Okay, well, if this dries up, this little bit right here... Let's unplant that. Unplant it like it's a plant. Uh, but if this dries up and this is still irrigated, we don't need to put it back. I don't know if that's going to be the case or not, but we'll, uh, we'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. Always open to uh, ideas and possibilities here. Okay, so this... I cannot... I, oh, I can't set this off because they're not going to be able to get to the rest of this. 
That's unfortunate. Because I really, really need the rest of this. Let's let's just super prioritize all of this dynamite because I know we have it. That's not the problem. So I want to make sure that they're able to uh, get all this taken care of. Do I have... Uh, I do have four. Okay. Got 13 beaver kits. We have 15 open spots. We have four incapacitated beavers. Now we have two medical beds. They're just kind of uh, kind of healing, kind of chilling, doing their own thing. So there's nothing inherently wrong with that. This is almost dried up. But 0 0.2, 0 0.2 left before the drought. Now I'm... Uh, I'm just a little bit, uh, a little bit concerned here. Well, I really shouldn't be concerned, unless it's a lot. Twenty-one days. <laughs> okay. Well, friends. Well, that's a deep subject. Then, see now, now I have a. Uh, now I have concerns. Um, bad water wise. We are um, out. Yeah, I I created this I created this problem, didn't I? I said it wasn't going to be a problem, and guess what? Now it is. Well, I can go ahead and pause these, so that won't be a problem. Uh, we have 110 dynamite. Man, I really wanted this to be uh, really wanted this to be done by then, but eh, it happens. Yeah, I... Oh, man. That's such a drag. This is already as high as it gets. I Man, I just... Mm, I don't want all of the water to, uh, to go to waste. I don't want it to overflow. But I also need to have more capacity. But, oh, the way that this is set up, I'm gonna... It's, it's going to overflow unless I dynamite enough of this out. Because it's all coming down the mountain. It just isn't being made anymore for the time being, for the next 21 days. Oh, because this is already, already full. Mmm, these beavers. Oh, you you fools. You absolute buffoons. See, this now this is flooding again. Man, oh, these idiots. See, I, I don't want to let any of this out. Is there any? Is there anywhere else I can put this? Like, I don't have any dynamite up here I can set off. It's only down here. I guess I could set this off. Okay, that's not nearly enough space. All right, are there any beavers caught in here? No? Okay. This idiot, I'm going to start on this end. There we go. So, uh, this is still flooding. And I am going to have to open some of it, but... It is not going to be nearly... Oh, God, okay. So that's gotta come out. Gotta come out more. But this can go ahead and get raised all the way up. So that's not a problem. Yeah, let all this extra water out. Set this back to 1.5. So I want this to be as full as it possibly can be. But now, now because I set this off, I'm going to have to build another staircase to get down here. And that's annoying. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I don't have a good answer for that. Well, that's too bad. Uh, I could let some out here, but no, I don't need to mess with that automated gate. This is why I didn't fully automate this one yet. So this is uh, definitely still overflowing, and there is still a little bit left to come in. I just want to make sure I time it, time it correctly here. This needs to be open. Yep, it is. So I guess, I guess I'm going to leave this at two and see how badly it overflows here in a second, which it shouldn't because now this is actually, uh, okay. All right. Well, you know what? This works. Uh, I think we can live with this 20 days. Uh, unfortunately we are going to be pumping out of this, which is, uh, less than ideal. This is currently paused. That's fine. Well, 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 how the, uh, how the tables have turned. I always do this to myself. Well, um, thousand water. I'm actually going to pause this so we can try and conserve as much as we can. Uh, our water storage is not full. However, now we should probably fill it up. We'll, we'll fill it up first. And then I'll pause it. That's what I should have done. 
Uh, we're going to pump all of our bad water out so that doesn't evaporate. That's fine. That is all well and good. Uh, but maybe we should now focus on getting these bad water rigs. Uh, we don't have the science, obviously. But we do have... Uh, oh, we almost have the metal. Almost have the metal. We, oh, we're not even close to the treated planks. But... Yeah, no, this isn't going to happen. Not going to happen this episode. But that could be a good goal for next time. We just don't... We're not going to have the power for it. Because we have to make a bunch of gears, a bunch of planks. We have to actually wood workshop the planks. Right now, we can't really do uh, any of that. So now, now I am just... Now I am just confused here. So that can be levees. I really should have made this a levee. Which, actually, right now I uh, have no reason not to. Might as well. Might as well just get this whole whole thing locked and loaded all the way down all the way down so we can just channel all of the water through here maybe flood a little bit maybe do a little bit of water folding don't tell the uh don't tell the water folding haters no, i shouldn't call them haters everyone here is really nice but some of some of the uh some of the water folding distaste is like i don't know i, I just i don't get it that's fine we're all entitled to our own opinions Oh, this would have been smart for me to actually set this off. I guess they had uh, started putting this down and I just didn't pay attention to it. Oh no, this one's turning. Oh, it's turning. It's making power we can't use. Yeah, we're we're not really in a not really in a bad spot. I am going to pause the gears. And the paper, that's fine. We should pretty much only be running these lumber mills so we can stock up on planks. How much storage do I have for planks? 200. Yeah, we're going to need more than that. This is treated planks, this is regular planks, this is logs. Oh, I really should put in some more uh, some more of the storage here. Okay, this is going to be... Uh, they're going to do... They're going to do the dumb here, aren't they? We're going to have some silly billies, so maybe I do have to wait. Yeah, we'll, we'll let, them, let them build this, that's fine. All right, so that's good. You know what I'm missing right about now? And I could totally install this mod if I wanted, but uh, the Water Beaver faction has a uh, an included sub mod that has pit storage where uh, the door is on the second floor, so, so to speak, and the, the building's two floors tall. One by one, two tall. That would be a perfect thing to put in a bunch of these spots. But you know what? That's fine. We're going to be happy with what we have. So the reason I'm doing this now is because one, I can... Uh, two, it's going to make it possible for us to put in uh, more windmills if I have uh, these water wheels and stuff put in place. And if this is in place, it's going to make that just that much easier. So since this is inaccessible for the most part... Oh, wow, they can actually get to this. Okay, that works. But I guess what I probably should be doing instead of having this set off is I should come in with some uh yeah come in with some stairs so we so we can get down here and set all this off but i will uh i will detonate those real quick because well it's there that's fine we have 1200 water stored yeah we're looking good looking pretty good uh this actually is not going to need to be replaced with a uh, what do you call it yeah very scientific term there um so that's fine we'll put our put our second farmhouse here which means we're going to have space at the end here for some storage, which I'm going to make. Um, I guess I guess we are going to grow some wheat over here. So this could be for wheat storage. And yes, that's how that's supposed to be pronounced with the uh, H in front of the W. Very, uh, very smart discourse here. Okay, so this can all be wheat. Um, we'll just go ahead and get this started. And then uh, the rest of this can be potatoes. That's gonna be uh, that's gonna be fine. We'll get these guys going here. Remember that I'm keeping this space open for another water pump uh, when we get to the point where we actually are going to need that. Now this is dry. That means pause. Um, unpause when bad tide starts. Unpause when temperate starts. There we go. So. We can just manually pause when it's done pumping everything out, and then it'll automatically unpause every time this starts making the juice, as it were. 
right, cool. So looking good. Oh, there's <laughs> there's carrots back here. I totally forgot about those. But I'll tell you what we can do. Um, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna play this dangerous game again. That's gonna go away. I sh oh, I should have checked which part of the pattern that was. No, we can we can just redo it later. That's fine. But we're going to let uh gonna let this evaporate because what I'm gonna be able to do after that is recess this all the way back here and gain a couple of squares back. Theoretically. And that should work out nicely there. Yes, that's going to be good. Um, I don't have any reason to have this paused. Yes. So we have some space for some more beavers here. We have 14 unemployed beavers, but that's probably because we have so much stuff paused. I would... Uh, hazard a guess for that being why that's the thing. So now we have a bunch of logs. Uh, we have plenty of... Well, we have enough. Oh, look how nicely this irrigates everything. That is wonderful. Rare Kumiko over here about to plant us some more oak trees. We'll just go all the way across like so. And... Oh, they can't reach this one. Okay. Well, that is A-OK. -okay. This is still plenty for right now. Plenty of uh, plenty of planning to get uh, going here, so we'll let them take care of that. What's the hold up on the farmhouse? They just don't have the uh, the builder resources, I guess. Okay, good. This is underway. That's nice to see. We should have uh, well, at some point they should have this a little bit better. Oh, look at this. We already have maple syrup. Nice. And the only thing we can do with that right now is make maple pastries, which we can't because we don't have uh, <laughs> uh we don't have we don't have any flour or grist mills or anything. So that's something else that needs to go over here. Unfortunately, uh, I don't have the Dutch windmill mod. I probably should just install that, honestly. But we're not gonna have a reliable um power source over here in terms of uh 24-7 unless we put in just a windmill and a gristmill next to each other. Um, should I save the science? I guess it doesn't matter. Do I have enough? I do. Well, we don't have any wheat yet, but when we get there, we're going to want to build a gristmill. I guess I could just kind of... Uh, I could just kind of go up the hill here and uh, find a nice spot to place this stuff. Actually, what's the the gristmill? I think is a three by two with a door on the long side. So if that's the case, oh, if that's the case, I could just do. Um, I know this might seem kind of a kind of bonkers, but what if I uh, what if I put that there? What if I put that there? Would that be would that be such a stupid thing to do? Oh, I kind of like this actually. <laughs> it's 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 just a little stupid. But let's uh, just take stock real quick. Is it going to let me get away with this? No, it's not. Okay. But it will let me get away with that, and I guess that's fine. It means I'd have to put in the power shaft. So now, now, I'm, now I'm thinking. Now I'm thinking with portals here. But this is... What a great game. I should play that on stream sometime. Um, yeah, we'll pause this, pause this. We'll let them build the uh, windmill first. So that'll be a, a fun little uh, completely unnecessary by itself power thing, but that's okay. We'll let them let them do that. Beavers can get wet for go, going to take the uh, the wheat to the grist mill. That's fine. That'll be a fun little detour. So that's looking good. 13 days left, and this is about to go dry, but we've got our little holes here, so that's a-okay. No issues detected there. This is, for all intents and purposes, full, so I'm going to stop pumping. Try to let this just naturally evaporate, although it's Honestly, probably going to happen in the next very soon. Uh, yeah, that's within the next day in game. So that's uh, less than ideal, but you know, it's it's all right. We have a lot of wood and we're actually starting to run out. So I'm going to, uh, instead of building additional storage, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to put four more of these guys in. And as they finish, then we can uh, come back and put some windmills in their place. Now I do have four, count them, four pieces of paper that I could, if I so chose, spend 1400 science on the large windmill and then still not have enough to build it. 
So I don't think we're going to be doing that, but we, we do want to make sure that we're at least working toward that. Long term, at least. I say at least a lot. So this is looking pretty nice. Uh, what's, what's up with the planting here? My guy, you got to be a little faster than that. Okay, okay, no, you're working. You're, you're, you're doing your best. That's fine. Okay, so this is, yeah, we're not even anywhere close yet. So that'll be uh, on the radar eventually. Why did they stop building this farmhouse? What what are they even building right now? Okay, there goes all the water. No surprise there. So that's looking fine. This will still be a okay. Nice maple syrup storage. I mean, we're we're sitting pretty good here. Uh, unfortunately, the time that we took at the beginning of the episode is going to preclude us from uh, finishing the drought today, I think, unless this gets to be super long, and I don't think people really want to see too much of that. At least not right now. So we will see. We will see what else we're able to accomplish, because there's not really that much we can do until the drought is over, short of kind of optimizing some of this stuff. Uh, getting these water wheels built, connecting them with the windmills, and then thinking about what else we want to do in terms of uh, production over here. So we have plenty of... We're going to be making tons of power. So no issues there. We are going to find out. Because obviously during a drought, we're not going to have any ability to do anything with the water wheels. We're going to re be reliant on the windmills. So we don't really want to overbuild our industrial too much. And admittedly, there's not that much else industrial to build short of maybe putting a, a couple of grist mills over here and all that. But uh, yeah, we might might want to look into uh, figuring out some of this other stuff here. Not that there's really that much else we can be doing. Yeah, I just, man, I wish I could see like a list in order of what is next to be built? That would be a great feature if someone was going to make a mod for that. I don't even know if you can make a mod for that or if that was added to the base game because it is, I, I just, I've, I know I've got a lot of stuff down between all the individual dynamites and I'm assuming that's what they're building first. But if they have the materials to build the other stuff, then why don't they, why don't they just do that? Well, I'm going to just make these normal priority because we don't really need to worry about it that much. And I'm going to go ahead and get the farmhouse, and then this windmill done. So we can actually start, because we're going to have, well, okay, in another four days, we're going to have wheat-ish, four-ish days. I want to make sure we can take advantage of that. We do only have the four builders. Oh, I've got so many beavers. Duh, why don't I just build builder's huts? That That is, uh, it's pretty dumb I didn't think of that already, huh? So... I guess what we'll do. Yeah, no reason not to do this. Let's just build ourselves a builder's hut. Or three. Depending on where we wanna wanna shove some of this stuff. I wanna pick a spot that's not gonna be in the way. Not like it really matters, they're not gonna live there. It's just a, a place for them to stick their bodies when nothing's going on. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll just, for lack of a better place, uh, stick those there. All right, windmill's done, farmhouse is done. Beavers can go work there, and they are, which is nice. I've got some more space to plant some wheat. In fact, they can go, oh yeah, they can go all the way up here. So, wheat it is. That is fine there. I'm actually going to, I know this might seem dumb. I'm going to slightly straighten the path here by just moving this. Wow, they are quick at planting wheat. Look at them go. Look at them go, man. Since we're already here, might as well take the opportunity to get a few more, uh, few more squares out of this. We'll see what we're able to accomplish here. I, I guess I need to prioritize the builder's hut too, of course, so they can, you know, actually have some helper builders. Another hauling post probably isn't out of the question, although I 
probably should build more housing before we get to that point. And since this is set up the way it is, uh, I'm going to detonate these two. I'm going to put another, uh, another double lodge in. I'm not going to put a triple here just because uh, I'd, I'd rather just have these match. No real good logical reason, just personal preference. Everything's looking uh, pretty nice here. This is still not evaporated. We can't forget we've done this because that's, that was going to cause a whole lot of problems if uh, if we forgot. But that is uh, something we're going to keep our eye on here. Yep, we're looking uh, looking decent over here. What are we uh, What are we focused on now? Do we build the builders' huts? Okay, good. This is the one we're building. And that should, yeah, now we only have the one unemployed beaver. Look at us go. Look at us go. Now we got a bunch of builder beavers. We can build the beaver builder builders. Say that one five times fast. Cool. We are, we're, we're cooking now, folks. We're going to get all of this uh, dynamite stuff put in. Yeah, we, we're going to accomplish stuff. That is going to be nice. And how much is this making? 148. That's way more than we need for a single gristmill, but it's not all bad. Uh, we can and probably will uh, build something else over here to take advantage of this power. But for right now, everything is looking pretty nice. Um, Science-wise, I mean, we probably could have built some more of these inventors. And honestly, I probably should since we're going to have some extra beavers here pretty soon anyway. Just have this be a nice backup. Let's put a couple more of these in. Oh, that's so cool how they're, they were almost synced for a second, and then I guess they weren't. It's funny the things I choose to pay attention to and choose not to pay attention to. This is going to dry out pretty uh, pretty soon. I forgot how aggressive the... Uh, the drying out was in hard mode. Seems like that's always something that slips my mind. Planting wise, I don't think the one beaver can keep up with the forester. I really don't. So we're probably, I don't have extra beavers right now, but we're going to have some soon once we get everything else taken care of. Nothing is, uh, I almost said starving. Uh, nothing else is going to dry out plant wise, right? I think we're okay. How long do these trees have? Oh, okay, we're not even close. Oh, uh, we have enough wood. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna choose to do the right thing. Just get rid of those. Uh, get rid. Of, hey, battery smooth. You're about to not work here anymore. Okay, go find something else to do. Um, <laughs> but we'll uh, we'll get that taken care of. We we don't need these stairs here. So those can go away. And then once these get built, we're not gonna need these, which means I'm gonna get this one square back for our. Uh, I guess we could say for potato purposes. All right, that's fine. We'll get this high power shaft put in. Uh, this is actually all ready to go. Well, so why don't I... Mm, yes. Normally I would worry about the uh, the water getting uh, overall shallower, but eh, I don't care. We got five days left. We're going to be fine. I do need them to come and grab these materials here. And then I can uh, detonate the rest of this. That's going to be three tall. I'm not going to spend the science to unlock this though, so we'll just uh, we'll just do one of these. That'll be fine. All right, this is in place, done, and in goes another double lodge. And it's going to work out nicely there. Uh, Well-being options we haven't really done very much with at all. So let's put in a campfire here. Just trying to fill some space, fill some uh, opportunities for these guys. I'll put another one right here. I'll make sure we can get into the rest of all this. Uh, rooftop terraces. Uh, I don't have any way to get up here. Well, not yet, but I could easily, depending on how we want to do this, because I have the ladders up there. I could have platforms come out this way. Uh, this is going to go ahead and get detonated. And guess what? A fun little trick there. Now all the water's in the, the lower hole. So that gets to go away. And then on top of this, fluid dump. 
path in place. And then we gained a whole one uh, total farmland, relatively speaking. But this works. It's okay for now. Definitely not perfect, but we will make it work. Okay, this is ready here. This is out of range, so we're not going to worry about that. This is dead because there's no water. Understandable. Uh, <laughs> we need to... Uh, Need to make sure this gets blown up. Uh, I guess, I guess we should have all of this uh, double, double depth here. Which, is this gonna be accessible? Yes, it is, okay. No problems there. That's gonna be double depth, which means this, and it doesn't really matter, I guess. If I don't want to have to do this again, I could just make this single depth. But there's no... There's no... Oh, man, I need to put a... Uh, a that in there. Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, so rubble, that's a path. This, I guess, if we're really going to be... Uh, going to be trying here, I should make this a, uh, a single and then make it a double like the rest of this. That's fine. Not that we can, you know, really make too much of this right now, because I, I only have 143 uh, bad water, and I can't pump any more of it here. But I guess uh, extract refine. I'm going to turn the uh, turn the explosives factories back on with all the power we're uh, not making. That's probably okay. These lower priority, and they are. This I feel like is okay to go ahead. That'll fill up nicely uh, when the time comes. How much power are we making? Oh, not even not even close to enough. Alright. Um, okay, that's looking fine. But right now, I'm not going to worry about what else is uh, being placed here. So that's going to work out just fine like so. Uh, Planks-wise, logs-wise, we have all of our, all of our materials we're going to want. Uh, hopefully, this allows us to have some sort of uh, autonomy during the uh, during the droughts. And look what I said. I said we're not going to finish our drought. Guess what? We're going to finish our drought. <laughs> it's funny how that works out, huh? Well, we have our campfires. We have a, two of them at least. And I'm going to have to redo our uh, our timer automation here. This one is at 1. Out at 3. This one is 15 to 18. Yeah, that's that'll be a next episode thing. Remind me in the comments to... Uh, to fix our timing once I have all the water dumps actually constructed, because uh, this one's new. Oh, this probably should have been, should have had this water dump here, but I, I figured I could get away with it, so I didn't uh, I didn't choose to do the hard stuff. But that's fine, that's the way she goes. Uh, what else? Oh, good, this is ready. Nice. Might as well. Might as well just go ahead and uh, get that taken care of. That'll be a single, two singles. They'll come grab that. No problems here. Yeah, we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. We're getting some more beavers in place. Really, really should have put another forester in here because now I don't have anybody working this job. But it should not be below the priority of, that's why, of these inventors, which... We should uh, check, yeah, make sure these are all lowest possible priority. Now they are. Cool. All right, so now we have, that's in place. I'll unpause the grist mill construction. They can build that. Because I know we have, we have, oh yeah, we have 105 wheat that we're waiting to uh, do literally anything with. So that's fine. We're just about done with our drought, too. Which is going to be the end of the episode, so let's not get uh, too carried away here. But it, it sure would be nice to see this uh, gristmill operating, making some wheat flour. Which for right now, uh, it's not going to be enough space in the small warehouse to do that. I'm going to want to have a bakery since that's not going to have to be powered somewhere over here. I didn't really do myself any favors with this layout, did I? Definitely did not, but drought's over, so we're going down to one time speed. Uh, the problems we can solve next time, but uh, I think we can still be pretty happy with what we got accomplished today. We did uh, straighten this channel out, 
quite a bit for water coming through. We've got uh, groundwork laid for the next couple of power shafts and uh, windmills to hopefully take care of the rest of this. And we are, uh, well, powerless currently. But that's fine. We got a much better handle on irrigation over here. And again, please do remind me in the comments to fix the timing on all of these next steps. So we're just going to do, we're going to do them all in a loop. Although as we get more and more beavers, it's going to be less important to ration our labor. But yeah, we got wheat, wheat in here. That's going to be nice. Uh, have that irrigated in place once the water's back, that is. And we survived with eight, eight water. But are we thirsty? Well, maybe a little bit, but not really. That is something to be happy with. <laughs> the water hasn't even come all the way back up to the uh, the top of this crater. It's, it's going to be a little bit before we have anything coming down here. But we're good. We got some very nice stuff accomplished, some nice work to prep for the next episode, which for this series, I believe this is coming out on Friday. I, it's technically scheduled to be Tuesday. But uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow, of course, is Water Beavers for Saturday. And then Sunday is our new series. We started yesterday, which was the uh, Iron Teeth uh, mega build on that giant map. So I think what we're going to do is have that one Sunday, Monday, because that's the new series. Uh, make some nice back-to-back -back progress on that. And we will be back in this one on Tuesday. So going to be a little bit of a wait, but it's going to be very nice to get that other series off to a good start. Uh, also don't forget the last couple days for you to get your opinions in on the channel survey. There is a link on the community tab and I will do my best to remember to put one in the description and a pinned comment. Uh, would love your feedback it helps shape the future of the channel and gives me a good idea of what you guys are thinking and feeling about the way things are going now. So it's completely anonymous. I would love your uh, actual candid feedback. Uh, just whatever's on your mind, good, bad suggestions. Whatever you've got, I would love to hear it because, like I always say, this is a Let's Play channel. It is not a Watch Me Play the Game channel. I do very much value your input and want to make sure that your voice is heard and you feel like uh, your contributions are valued because they are. And you're valued too. I'm very glad that we get to spend this time together. Um, of course, very thankful to our Beard Boosters, Patreon supporters, and YouTube members as well. Those folks really do make it possible for me to keep doing this. Very grateful for them very grateful for you as well, even if you're not part of that. So whatever it is you're doing with the rest of your day, stay safe, have fun, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.